at midfield, the pleasantries before the start of the battle. Smiles on the faces of Malaga. Do they know something we don't? And the two Real Madrid icons. Well, Mitchell looking ready for winter himself with that beard. But now today going head to head. Injuries have been a big part of the season for Real Madrid, Mateo. And we see there Kiko Casilla filling in for the recovering Kaylor Navis. And there's some switch on the back line. Vallejo in for the suspended Nacho. And we'll talk a lot about Vallejo, the 20-year-old. What a massive moment for him. Only his second La Liga start, third start of the season in all competitions. And the front two, Ronaldo and Benzema. I expect it to be more of a 4-3-3, though, with Lucas pushing up. All white Real Madrid. In their road blues, Malaga. Roberto, the veteran, will be in goal. Luis Hernandez, perhaps the man with the most difficult job to try and shut down Benzema and Bale. But make that Benzema and Ronaldo, who are red hot in Champions League midweek. Now, Recio is going to be the one sitting just in front of the back four. Adrian will push a bit forward, and a lot of attacking talent on this side. The inconsistent but explosive Venezuelan Alberto Peñaranda will play in support. Neil Manzano with the whistle to get us underway on a... They have not even scored a goal away from the Rose Garden. Driven. Headed up and just over. Good delivery coming from Marcelo. But Lucas Vasquez misses the mark. Uh, plenty of interchangeability the first time Real Madrid do get forward. You see Benzema, he was moving out wide earlier. Trying to... oh, maybe getting healthy as we head towards the winter break a look away pass from Vasquez Isco to the near post and diving in to punch it away Roberto back extra helmet trick Castilla there's two extra helmet trick Castilla players in this back line both Juan Car and Luis Hernandez Real Madrid something's got to give Roland looking for a foul none coming here's Ronaldo from long range bouncing harmlessly wide can't really fault him for taking even though he's saying sorry to Lucas Vasquez who was making an inviting run past the final defender Now bet is a side that's hot and cold losing at the Bernabeu Marcelo again that seems to be the focal point Ronaldo oh. off the crossbar and Benzema there to hit the back of the net he's not on the scoreboard himself but he sets it up through Marcelo and Real Madrid in front 10 minutes in it's a world-class ball from Marcelo, constantly bombing up and down that left-hand side. It's not the first lovely cross he's put in. Sees Ronaldo making that run to the back post. He knows that Ronaldo's going to win that one-on-one -on -one aerial match every single time. There's a bit of separation between Ronaldo and Diego Gonzalez, and he's cursed at this point. That should have been in from Ronaldo, but it doesn't matter. He inadvertently sets up Benzema. But look at the way that he's drifting away from Go Ronaldo. He's still able to contort his neck muscles and get that one nearly to fall under the crossbar. Marcelo sending that ball to what where hardly ball. anyone but Ronaldo could get there. And Luis Hernandez ball watching, Benzema striking. Yeah, there was a bit of separation as that ball was sent in between Ronaldo and Diego Gonzalez. Gonzalez just couldn't get over quick enough. And it was the perfection of that delivery. You couldn't have sent that one in any better. He is cutting all the way over to the left flank. Close looking. Met by Carvajal. Slapped away by Roberto. Now Ronaldo in the box. Each other a slap for the defense. Take another look here. What a ball. Ronaldo Again. hoping for a drop. Yeah, Juan Car Blasted and slapped away. Kiko... Actually, no, it does not get the touch. All the time in the world, no one even in the vicinity here of Recio. He has all the time to measure this shot. He's going for the near post. It's going to be difficult to beat Casilla. You are going for that near post. A decent stab at it. Nice idea, Roland. Meets it and buries it. Settling it on the chest. And before Vallejo could react, we're tied at one. And the whistle's raining down from the Bernabeu. Well, a little bit of separation here between Roland and the defender. Take a look as his ball's flighted in. Two dangerous opportunities back-to-back -back for Malaga. And it didn't take long for the whistles, but might have to look at the young center back here as Vallejo is the closest one to Roland. For some reason, he takes... A step to his left, Vallejo. Look as the ball's flighted in. The center back's right alongside Roland. 
He takes a step towards his goalkeeper. That creates a separation. Not sure what he saw. Maybe he thought that the header was going to come from Peñaranda. But it falls right to Roland. He's got all the space in the world to settle, and it's finally taken off the chest. Struck right on the bounce underneath Vallejo. But here you have to look at the 20-year-old center back. Not the best positioning. And that little step off to his left, creating even more separation to allow Roland. Headed. Slams, but into the corner. Casemiro. His shot earns the corner, and it pays off in a go-ahead goal. A goal fest of the Bernabeu in the early going. Haven't seen the best aerial defending from Malaga. 21 minutes in. It's another dangerous header from Real Madrid. One of the best teams in the world in the air. Casemiro, acres of space. It's just able to get in front of his marker. I think Juan Carter was yep. supposed Juan to Carter play was the line, up. but he saw Casemiro wide open and couldn't get there in time. Absolutely, with Benzema peeling away. Once again, there is one Juan Carter for two Real Madrid players. Maybe one of the reasons why Malik are in the bottom three as it stands. Very disorganized at the back. Roberto screaming to the heavens. She get wide, Carvajal. Great ball. Benzema squares. Ronaldo had been hoping it to be a more flat pass, but it went to the post and rolls wide. What a genius ball this is. Carvajal showing that maybe he should be putting a number 10 on his back. Trying it, to pass, trying to shoot. Who knows the pass that dictated the run? Cross. Snuck in, Vasquez punched away Roberto. Ronaldo trying to find Lucas Vasquez. He's drifted all over the pitch, right side, left side. It's a late challenge from Baez as he just stomps on his ankle, twisting it. Nice setup though for Again, switching, liking life on the chalk line. Dangerous for Ronaldo! Roberto! Reaches out and slaps it away in midair. Oh, it's a sarcastic smile from Ronaldo asking, what does he have to do to put one in the back of the net? What a header. What a and save. And what a cross. As Benzema opened it. Roland equalized it. Casemiro put Real back in front. The header across goes in. But they're going to call a foul in the box and then the whistle to end the half. Bess looking on in disbelief. The ball does end up in the back of the net, but he'll... Was that a push off from Bess, maybe? Over the Colts? Kind of a halt. Didn't look like a foul. Didn't look like a foul. It should be an equalizing goal. Yeah, maybe it was the push off before on the forum that was uh, called late. Controversy to end the half, but it's Real Madrid in front by a goal. Go to Roland, who I remember with the uh, Uruguay national team has also played as a left or right sided midfielder. Down in for Benzema, tries to get the ball across, but two defenders in front drops it back for close. And his laser beam parried away by Roberto for a corner. It's the cross specialty, that late arriving run. Lovely pullback right here as uh, Cross just uh, he had to take the pace off the ball and side foot it. That's why he didn't drive to the middle. Venezuelan does get it. Keiko back to Adalberto, but his touch fails. Poorly cleared by Varan. Keiko in the middle of the park. Jordi Castro. Oh, it's in. Bounces it past Kiko, and Malaga has tied it. Jordi, the second for Malaga who had not scored all season long away from home. The amount of space that these midfielders for Malaga have gotten outside the box, absolutely shocking. There was a shot earlier from Recio from distance. Where are the midfielders to close down? Why was Shorty given all this room to operate, to pick out his spot? After that little clearance from Varane, Keiko just sees Shorty wide open. 
Vallejo's not really running towards him. The midfielders are nowhere to be found. There's a lot of separation between the two lines of Real Madrid. That's been so noticeable here today. And this hit, he still has to do everything, get plenty of power. The placement has to be perfect to beat Casilla. What a hit. Ah, Casilla got the slightest touch on that as well. But Just a fingernail. Just a sling. Casemiro delicately touched in for Vasquez. A little stutter step gets it across, headed back oh. into the middle by Veron and Ronaldo can't turn it towards net. Oh, it's happening again. So close to getting another goal. Could have had almost a hat trick. The header off the crossbar. The header that was saved by Roberto, and they are millimeters away from latching on to this Veron header. Really do feel like he's just cursed at this point. But once the calls start flowing, when will they stop? He's had a good game. He's been involved or not. Ground more on that in a moment. Modric. Benz makes the run. Out wide for Vasquez. Back in for Modric. Stepping up is Hernandez. Oh, Hernandez in a penalty. Screaming that it was not. But Hernandez overruled by the man who counts. And Real Madrid with a chance from 12 paces to retake the lead. Looked awfully close. Replay's going to tell us everything. Well, Modric inserted to add a spark. Luis Hernandez, the one who sticks it in, and he catches Modric right on the ankle. Look at this. Right yeah. here, the stud right on the outside of the ankle. That has to be given. Did catch him. He's holding up his arms, but certainly contacting. It wasn't on the ball. And you can say it's not the harshest foul, but it does seem to be a fair call. Real Madrid with Cristiano Ronaldo stepping to the spot. One goal on the season. Roberto in his way. He denies the rebound buried, though. <laughs> so from the run of play off the rebound... The gorilla finally off the back of Cristiano Ronaldo. So many chances in this one. He's had a solid performance here, Ronaldo. The first one, it wasn't angled that well. Roberto, who's been brilliant today for Malaga, gets a touch, but it's not enough to really push it away from the danger zone. And it's the parry that gives Ronaldo that second chance at it. It's been so close. It was his header that set up the first goal from Benzema. Another header that was wonderfully saved by Roberto. And the duel between these two continued. It wasn't the kind of penalty you expect from Ronaldo. At least not with the placement. And then the second effort is uh, Roberto struggling to get back up. It's a rather easy finish. Following up on the penalty miss. By the way, that's the fourth penalty miss for Ronaldo <laughs> against Malaga in recent years. But it still counts on the rebound.